Lady Spencer, it's unbelievable that you are celebrating the 20th anniversary in representing St. Lucia. She was the leading 100 meter female athlete on the island. She was an opening bowler, but she bowled with her right arm. She placed our name on the map. She's done so much for us. Thank you for paving the way for all of us younger athletes in the sport. Love wins legacy. No, that's a million dollar question. For 20 years, Laverne, Donald and Spencer has kept the St. Lucia flag flying internationally. St. Lucia! Three times at the Olympic Games. Fifth Games for St. Lucia. Santa Lucia! Laverne Spencer carrying the flag. St. Lucia! Five times at the Commonwealth Games. Laverne Spence carries the flag of St. Lucia. St. Lucia. And on their flag, peaks of volcanic pythons rising above the golden beaches. Flag carried by Laverne Spencer in the women's high jump, and she's got a chance. Please welcome St. Lucia. St. Lucia has 32 of their top athletes here in this city. The flag bearer, Laverne Spencer who's an athlete. She became St. Lucia's first medalist when she won bronze in the women's high jump. That's female medalist. for 20 something years, particularly in physical activity and sport. 20 years, 20 years, 15 titles. She placed our name on the map. She's done so much for us. We grew up with a lot of sports in the family and also we were exposed to a lot of sports, both at school and at church. So you find we took part in almost everything, cricket, volleyball, um, athletics. You know, her, her sister too was, a, was, was an athlete, a very good sprinter in, 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 in the years. Her, her, she has one of two brothers who was a pretty decent footballer as well and sprinter also. You know, so I think it's probably something in, in, in the family. We had a sports meet and um, we were looking for somebody in a higher age group and we couldn't find anybody and she was still a little child. And we took her to running first just to make up the team. And she came first. So everybody's like, what? How is she able to defeat people who are so much older than us? So then we realized, okay, that's probably a talent, something she can um, develop. One thing that was clear at the time uh, is that she, she really liked the sport and, and she was disciplined. Um, because I remember her uh, as a seven, eight year old going to the Babylon Primary School, but I think there was some training session on the morn and she used to have to make her way from, from Babylon to the morn if another um, younger, uh, you know, athlete. Of course, not, not high jump at the time, but the, uh, her love for, for track and field was, was very, very clear from, from an early age. Actually, the, 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 the first time I came across Lovan, she was sprinting and throwing the discus, not high jump. At one point in time, she was the leading 100 meter female athlete on the island. But there was a higher calling, a sport that she got introduced to at the Entrepo Secondary School. And the one credited with that life altering decision was coach Gregory Lubin. Levin came around and Levin just believed in herself. She was quiet. Very quiet, very different. I guess because of the height and the physical makeup, um, Gregory Lubin thought maybe she should try the, the high jump. And reluctantly, I have to say, you know, she, she gave it a try. She, she was not upset or anything, but um, as far as she's concerned, I'm a sprinter, you know, why, why try high jump? But as anything else, as a coach, I, I listened to him and she gave it a try. And right away, he realized that, well, that, that's something that she should take on board. And that, that's when it started for her. Sometimes you just have to respect what you think the professionals see. 
And um, when he suggested it, we thought, but St. Lucia don't even have high jumpers. Why should we allow you to go? But we said nothing beats a try. And we allowed her to go ahead with it. Less than one year after the decision to get into high jump, Laverne Spencer started entering the history books. She set a new high jump record for St. Lucia, and that began the dominance of the sport. I was given that responsibility in 1999 to go across to our first Carifter Games in Martinique. And um, that's where it all started. By the time she graduated from secondary school and moved to the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, it was clear Laverne Spencer was no ordinary athlete. The 2001 Junior Sportswoman of the Year, Laverne Spencer! Laverne Spencer. Within a few years, she had won St. Lucia's Junior Sportswoman of the Year four times and the Sportswoman of the Year title three times. She was a Pan Am Juniors medalist and a character medalist. The 2007 Sportswoman of the Year, one and only Laverne Spencer. The Female Athlete of the Year and St. Lucia's roving ambassador in waiting is Laverne Donnellyn Spencer. Ladies and gentlemen, Laverne Donnellyn Spencer, the 2011 Female Athlete of the Year, Mrs. Anne-Marie Spencer, Laverne's mom, will receive on her behalf. Tell us your secret, Laverne. My secret is just hard work, discipline, and a good relationship with God. A great model for any young person to have not only for sport, but for life in general. Lovin also believed in uh, whether you're tired or not, you go to church. She go everywhere with the team, but remind persons I went out with you. So on Sunday, you have to go to church. <laughs> well, from little children, we have devotion every single day. Mother will wake you up, whether you want to or not, to have devotion. So we grew up with that. At the back end of her career, she does not forget to pray before competitions. In fact, it's something that the two of us have Decide, we decided on many years ago that we would be praying before and after every competition. And even me sometimes as the older one, as, as a leader, sometimes I get so caught up in either the victory or the defeat that um, I, I forget that. And she would be the first to remind me, you know, after a competition, don't forget we haven't prayed as yet. Stability was a key factor in Laverne's success. Instrumental in her development, church youth leader and sporting enthusiast Gregory Dixon. Good mentor, good advisor. He was a youth leader, so he's been able to work that relationship. It's not like somebody who's new to her. So she was able to relate to him, understand his principles. She he himself would be able to know what gets her upset, what makes her, what motivates her when she's down, when she's up. So it's good that sometimes if you have a mentor, you have somebody who is able to understand your personality and the person will be better able to work with you. After just one year at the South Lewis Community College, it was time to move on to bigger challenges. Laverne decided to accept one of the many offers of a full scholarship to attend university in the United States of America. Uh, you know, she came to the University of Georgia, competed in our program, helped us win a championship uh, in the Southeastern Conference in 2006. On the day of graduation, I will never forget in December of, of 2008, so she graduated in the afternoon and in the night we had to drive from Athens, Georgia to Atlanta, Georgia to sit with an agent and it was just about midnight in a restaurant. That's when she signed her first professional contract. So she actually became a professional on, on graduation day. The first St. Lucia to, to become a full-time professional. I mean, you're a pioneer. St. Lucia had never had a, a professional track and field athlete who had decided that's going to be my career, and, and she was the first one to have done that. Laverne Spencer, in many ways, is a track and field pioneer, blazing the trail for generations of local athletes. The records speak for themselves, a first among equals. First to win an international medal, first to become a full-time professional athlete, 
first to qualify for the World Championships, first to make it to the finals of the World Championships, first to qualify for the finals of the Olympics, first to compete in the prestigious Diamond League, first to medal at a Diamond League competition, first to be selected for the Continental Cup, first to medal at the Continental Cup. Her accomplishments are many. Character champion, six-time Central America and the Caribbean Championship champion, three times Central America and the Caribbean Games champion, North and Central America and the Caribbean under 23 champion, three times North and Central America and the Caribbean Games champion, Southeast Conference champion, Pan American Games champion, Diamond League champion, Commonwealth Games champion. Laverne is a multiple record holder. St. Lucia's national record holder, Winwood Island School Games record holder, CARICOM record holder, CAC championship record holder, NACAC championship record holder, Albany State University record holder, University of Georgia record holder. And there is this record for the ages, 15 times sports woman of the year. In 2015, she received the Medal of Merit Gold from the Governor General for her contribution to sports in St. Lucia. Laverne Spencer, she's twice been a Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. And one year before her 20th anniversary of national duty comes the crowning moment, fittingly in the Gold Coast. St. Lucia, incredibly proud. Laverne Spencer is the first St. Lucian to win Commonwealth Gold. This sporting icon has broken barriers, records, and still willing to put everything on the line in search of Olympic glory for God and country. Congrats again on 20 years. Um, continue to walk with God as you always do and keep being the bird. And for my family, for my wife and all of us, here in beautiful Athens, Georgia, United States of America. Uh, we say God bless you, God keep you, and uh, we wish you the very best as you continue. You've been such a great positive influence on me, um, and you're such a God-fearing woman, and so I really look up to you. I'm so happy for you, and you deserve everything that's coming your way. So congratulations again. She's certainly had a possibly the greatest impact um, on St. Lucian Athletics, uh, certainly in track and field. And uh, congratulations on 20 years in athletics. Uh, you've done an amazing job and you're an amazing woman. We're all rooting for you. And again, I just want to thank you for everything you've contributed to High Jump, uh, to St. Lucia, and uh, just to putting us on the map, on the world stage, and everything that you do in competition. Lady Spencer, it's unbelievable that you are celebrating the 20th anniversary in representing St. Lucia. Take my warmest congratulations and my very best wishes for the things coming up in the near future. I'm sure we will meet during the summer. Enjoy the time. All the best. See you then. Bye bye, Laverne. It's really being a blessing. Uh, to work with you, Laverne, and I hope uh, you keep inspiring uh, and aspiring to inspire more and more young young ones, especially in St. Lucia, and hopefully find the next Laverne Spencer. Uh, God bless you, and um, um, hope you uh, you enjoy this moment as you deserve it the most. You have contributed to to the nation building, you have assisted your community, um, the Babono community. You have also assisted the, the young kids of St. Crucial through your generosity and, and, your, and, your, and your cooperation. We ask that you continue to do this and do not be discouraged by the, the negative thoughts and the negative, negative talk around the place, but just continue to, to grow, continue to develop the, the, the talent that you, that you have. I thank you for your continued dedication to the sport of athletics. Five-time Central American and Caribbean champion, two-time Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. Big season on the Diamond League this year. Fifth in Doha, third in Beijing, third in New York. Steadies herself here for her third and final attempt at 194. Oh, she's got it! What a big jump! That was a real firm grip of the gold medal right there. Makes it look casual. That is technique. That is timing. That is perfection for Laverne right now.
she has decided that she will not continue and she will retire at 194 as the gold medal Pan American Games champion. Priscilla Presley also put some flair into her performances here today. She wins the silver medal ahead of Kayla Jones, Vern Spencer, the class of the field. But look at that, two personal bests and a seasonal best.